back again at the top of the album charts with one of those timeless hits. Your biggest welcome, please, for Miss Bonnie Tyler. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and you're never coming round. Every now and then I get a little bit tired and listen to the sound of my tears. Every now and then I get a little bit nervous that the best of all the years have gone by. Every now and then I get a little bit terrified and then I see the look in your eyes. Every now and then I fall apart Every now and then I get a little bit restless When I dream of something fun And every now and then I get a little bit helpless There I'm like a child in your arms Every now and then I get a little bit angry And I know I've got to get out and cry Every now and then I get a little bit terrified Then I see the look in your eyes But every now and then I fall apart Every now and then I fall apart And I need you now tonight I need you more than ever If you only hold me tight To be holding I don't know what to do and why we said the dark Living in a boat again, giving us fun I really need you tonight Forever's gonna start tonight Forever's gonna start Once upon a time I was falling in love Now I'm only falling apart And there's nothing I can do Totally clips of the heart A total eclipse of the heart I need you now tonight I need you more than ever If you only hold me tight We'll be holding on forever We'll only be making it right It's good to see you. Come on, sit Thank down. Thank you. And a happy St. Patrick's Day to you oh, as well. Oh, hey, I'm glad I'm in Ireland for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. You will have a ball tomorrow. I know I will, yes. She's going to Temple Bar for the going day. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Temple Bar. Temple yes. Bar, yes. Beware, but have fun. Oh, That's uh, and then I'll be in front of uh, Trinity College, yeah? Watching the parade. Watching the parade. Very good. Hey, look, you, you, you know, you never lost it. What a voice. What a tough song to sing. Mm. But, you know, the first time I saw Meatloaf on the old Grey Whistle Test, uh, many, many years ago, I thought, oh my God, he was singing Bats Out of Hell, and I thought, that 
that's the kind of song I want to do, you know. So and then I got in touch with Jim Steinman and... Uh, he wrote me that song. He wrote you that song. Yeah. Um, you've got a, a massive catalogue of hits and they're compiled in an <laughs> album now and they're back in the charts. Yeah. That's Ooh. a good feeling, isn't it? It's a wonderful feeling. And I went in the charts today in Ireland, the highest entry at number four. Very good. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Funny, la later on the show, we have some young people who are uh, making their way in showbiz, yeah. the Eurostar finalists. Uh, you didn't do it overnight. I mean, it took you... No, I'm an old rock and roll fossil. I've been around for a long time. Yeah. But I started when I was about their age, you yeah. know. But, you know, I can give them a few tips. Yeah, what would you say to them starting out? I would say, for, for a start, they should... Well, I mean, I don't. I haven't met them yet, so I don't know if they've already formed a band together. There's one band, there's yeah. one female solo, yeah. and one male solo. So then I would suggest that uh, they do as much live work as possible. Not forget about working in studios and making records and becoming famous and having hit track, you know, in the charts. I mean, I was working for seven years before I was discovered, and I would still be in Wales singing in a local band if... The talent scout from London, who was working for Chapel Music at the time, hadn't made a mistake and came in on the wrong floor and heard me singing. Someone up there was looking after me, you know. And that's how it happened, as simple as that. He came down from London to listen to the boys singing upstairs in the band, uh, because he'd heard about this guy. But I was singing in my band downstairs called Imagination, you know. And, uh, and then uh, I was asked in 1974 if I'd like to go to London to make a demo, which I did. I went up, I did a demo of Lost in France under My My Honeycomb. And I didn't hear anything for two years, I thought. Two years? Yeah, I thought they didn't like me or whatever, you know. But uh, then two years later, in 1976, then they asked me, you know, would I like a recording uh, contract on RCA? I said, yes, thank you very much, you know, lovely. And that was the beginning? That was the beginning of it. But seven years with the local band, working every night, you know, six nights a week. Doing the charity gigs and yeah, the church concerts that's what and I was all gonna of say. that. They should do charity shows to get the experience because there aren't that many... Um, when I, when I started, there wasn't DJs, you know. I started singing in 1969. So... There was a lot of work for bands There then, were little you know? clubs and little venues all yeah. over the place. And Harder now to get the start. Uh, you know, like, I mean, every song that was in the charts I used to sing, you know, because that's what people wanted to hear, the songs that were in the charts, because we sang them, the DJs didn't play them then, that's how bloody old I am. But anyway, <laughs> that's a good, good 